my brother was born at Spina Bifida, loved to play sports, and he was a golf instructor in Orlando, Florida. The first time I got a chance to go out on an actual golf course and play around was when I was about 13. My brothers took me out to one of the local courses and I was hooked immediately. My favorite thing about getting to work with kids and teach them this great game of golf is just seeing that joy on their faces when they accomplish something that they maybe didn't realize they could do. We were actually with Josh DeMille and Audra at, at their cabin on New Year's when we found out he had passed. He really did kind of pave his own path for a lot of things and followed his passions and dreams. A couple days later, Josh and Audra came at our house and I said, hey, I'd really like to do something for Danny. Does he have a charity that he works with? And at the time, the answer was no. So Josh was like, well, set one up. I'm playing in a golf tournament in a couple weeks, love to play for Danny, and Dare to Stand Out came out of that push from the DeMels. We wanted to find a way that we could impact the community that would continue on some of the things that my brother had been doing. Dare to Stand Out really focuses on adaptive sports, looking for ways that we can provide opportunities for people that have a disability to be with the rest of their friends and family, and golf was the natural first thing that we wanted to get into. My brother Danny, he never had opportunities to use a lot of adaptive equipment, so he always found a way to make things do. When he golfed, he brought his wheelchair with him, he would golf from his chair. Every time I'd play with him, he'd always beat me. Super cool to see, super cool to see him overcome his odds. There are four carts that are available to be used at the Fargo Parks courses, and as of right now, we're covering all the costs. It provides a lot of opportunity for those that may have disabilities as far as walking is concerned or people that are coming off of, even off of a surgery. We want to try to take as many of those barriers down as possible and really just get people out and enjoying the courses. I mean, you talk about goosebumps, it was a goosebump moment. Um, when Josh mentioned that he's been waiting for the right organization to do that with, I mean, that, that's pretty humbling. I didn't ever get a chance to meet Danny, but I love these guys very much. And to, uh, to see what they've done in the last year and a half after Danny passes is really something special. And I think that this charity is so worthy because so many people who aren't able to get out and do some of the things that we take for granted could not do that because of these guys and what their brother did. To see the work that you guys have done in such a short amount of time, I'm just happy that it's all come full circle. We would like to present them a check for $20,000. This money is, is going to make such a difference in the community, and I'm so excited to figure out, you know, what the best use of that is. Today is Danny's birthday. So, what a birthday present. What a great way to celebrate. You really are humbled by the outpouring of support from your friends, your family, people you don't even know, but then also the community. Bell Bank being able to help us drive our mission forward is unbelievable. Our minds are spinning as far as all the good that we can do in the community. I think he would be very humbled and proud of having the opportunity to help others as well.